Actually, it's um, my view is my take is that it, it's a good it's a good um, <laughs> cabinet. Look at the background. Um, these people came on the back of a hustler narrative, and 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 and, um, uh, and and if you look at many of the people who have been put there, are people who have stood out, uh, political leaders who have stood out for the last few years, uh, you know, on the issues of hustler, you know, people like. Um, Moses Kuria, you know, <laughs> people like uh, Murkom and people who have been championing that issue of the hustler. Uh, so it's, it's now an opportunity for them to deliver, uh, you know, on, 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 that, on, that, on their pledges to the, to, 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 to the Kenyans. So I, I think th there, is, there is a move away from, if you will, from, Kiba from Uhuru's uh, uh, government, which was more technocrats, you know, to, to more political. And I think that, in a sense, was clear from the president's speech a few weeks uh, earlier when he said, you know, I want uh, my cabinet members to, to, to be in parliament to answer questions. And, and, and if you look at, again, the uh, it, one, one advantage of this, for, of, of, of focus on the, on the politicians, is that then they can uh, be in touch with, with, with people out there. One of the, the challenges the whole government had is they were out of touch with reality, many of his cabinet members, you know, technocrats who were in the offices and had no relationship with the public and didn't know what was going on. Uh, so here we have a team that... Isn't that what the, we wanted in the Constitution when we sort of removed <coughs> uh, you know, ministers from Parliament? Isn't that the whole point of the yeah, they are not. They, they are, that's why you have to resign. The moment you've been appointed, you cannot be both a member of Parliament and... Okay, but it doesn't, the Constitution does not tell you must not have been a member of Parliament. No, you can't be a member of Parliament before but you should not be a serving okay. member of Parliament. So, but but that, that is a very important distinction for me. Because one of the challenges we have had with this government is they were out of touch with reality, on the ground, what was going on. And I think when you have people who have political background, who can go back and, and be in touch and connect with the people, <coughs> I think that, that's, that's critical. And okay. I think that seems to be the, uh, the focus on these appointments. Uh,